probably a really bad idea because there's a lot of shiny stuff in here. This little video display and on the G5, on the attitude part of it, it's a little bit more simple than the HF. Yeah. That, that works. Yeah. That works. Cleet is Buford. Cleet is Buford. He helped. Step one is complete. We got the LEDs right there. And we're ready to start putting back together the first. Hard to tell in daytime, but there you go. Now all that's left is a couple of power and grounds. Find it and what the Ah oh. It is now time to turn that on and do my GMU 11 check. I got my uh, little list of timer and you got to turn on certain things in certain orders and wait for so long a period of time and all that kind of stuff. So I have the GMU out there inside the wing just kind of sitting there connected where I think it's going to go. We have to do this check just to make sure there's no magnetic interference or anything like that. Fingers crossed because honestly this is the one part I'm nervous about because I don't, this is, this is the thing you test it and if it tests good then you're home clear but if it doesn't then you got to move it and you got to test it again and if that doesn't test good then you got to move it again and then test it again and so on and so forth till you find a good spot where nothing is going to interfere with it. Here we go. First switch on so with the power on the top one should be powered on. Yep because that's connected to the battery and then when I switch the radio or the avionics then the bottom one should come on okay that's good so far all right hey it looks like some shiny stuff we'll have to go in and configure all these things now sweet woohoo is it pass or fast tail pass or fail test and we passed. Yep, guess what came out again? That's super exciting. It was the only way I could get to wire, to route the wiring so that it was up off of everything and nice and tight. And I might even have to take the tip tank off, which I hope I don't, but we'll find out here in just a minute. Taking off the outside gas tank right here because it's got a mount back here. This is where I checked it was right here and it's not part of this right here. So there is a separation between the fuel tank and that rib, just like the instructions say. And it can mount right in there. And 30 minutes to take the gas tank off, probably 45, maybe even an hour to put it back on, but it will be a million times easier to mount that bracket and to get the GMU in there and level and aligned exactly this way, this way, and that way with the airplane with this thing off. So next is to mount the bracket and then get the plane level and then do all the measurements to make sure it's you know exactly square and straight with the airplane. Okay, on to the next step, one bite at a time. Lickety split, bada bang, bada boom. Got that in there. Got it all aligned this way, it's leveled this way, and you know, all the different which ways. Put a little clamp on there because of that wiring, I want to keep that in place. Got my ground here, it's gonna go right there. Got everything tucked back in there so we can put this fuel tank back on there. And put it back together, all right. We got everything put back together. The lights are on, I tested them, those are good. Got the fuel tank, all that stuff hooked up, everything's in there, the grounds, all that. And now I'm going to test it again and do another magnetometer test and check this, the flap to make sure that's good and the strobes and everything. See where those are at. Hopefully this is good to go and we can move on. Let's go check it out. All right, we got that in calibrate. Go down here, interference, test, start. Okay, we're gonna start. That's what we're looking for right there. Move that back and forth. Okay, the aileron's good. 
Okay, so far so good. Let's make sure these lights are on. Okay. Let's check them. Let's turn them off and on for that spike. Okay, that's good. Turn the strobes, this is the one I'm worried about. That's no bueno. Out of spec, out of spec, out of spec, out of spec. Son of a biscuit. All right, how absurd is that? You see it's going out, it's going out. Now watch this. Okay, the box is that way, is how I mounted it. Now watch, like magic, I just need to turn it around that way. Okay, all I did was turn the thing around, now watch this. Look, it's freaking perfect and totally within spec. Are you kidding? Okay, so I got everything put back together. I didn't put any screws or anything in it because in case something is wrong, less stuff I gotta take back off. However, I will say, I'm, I'm feeling pretty, pretty confident and if this works, I'm gonna be pretty cocky and difficult to live with. Okay, 12 times a charm, here we go. Connector is now forward. Interference test, next, start, here we go. So the biggest thing is gonna be the, oh, that looks good so far. 30 something, 40 I saw, okay. And then this thing, cause the weight is right there. We're gonna do that around. Make sure the weight, counterweight of the aileron doesn't mess with it. Let's just freaking go crazy with it. Let's try to, we're gonna try to break it now. Flip that on the landing light, pedo heat. Let's make sure our, those are on. We're gonna crank everything on all at the same time. Yes. Okay, so far so good. Let's go ahead and turn all this stuff off. Turn that off. Okay. Now, boom! Holla! Yeah! Let's both the same day. Let's go fly it. Now I've got three pages of configurations to do on those things. Got all these things configured as much as we can get them configured because I learned that when I thought when I bought this, it was updated to the very, very last software. Apparently there's a very, very, very last software that I have to get it updated to in order for it to communicate correctly with the G5. Awesome. I also, and I knew about this, but the Trio also has to get updated, which I, I knew about that, so I wasn't surprised about that. I was surprised about this one though. Was not expecting that. Heading in here, Gulf Coast, they're gonna update this thing. 110 bucks, takes them an hour. Now, thankfully, I did talk to them and they told me when to come in. So we're gonna go in and see Sarah and she said that I can drop it off, go grab a sandwich, come back, and it'll be done. Awesome. Love you, Gulf Coast. Thank you for saving the day. Hey, look at there. It's got G5 now. Yay! Patience has never been one of my virtues. So even though it's raining, I'm gonna go do all the testing and calibration of the compass and all the other things that I need to do. And to do that, I've gotta drive the plane around and I have to, uh, you know, do the, a whole bunch of stuff where I do a full run up for a vibration test and I gotta drive the plane in circles and let this thing calibrate on its compass and heading and all that stuff. So, 
But yeah, I'm not waiting for the rain to stop. Let's do it.